submitted for your approval. Freezing Frostbitten friends hold fast to each other as they walk towards class. Whirling winds whining at every turn. An air of cloudy skies and wintry blues fills our scene. Our location, Rexburg, Idaho. Our story tonight begins on a frigid February Friday evening outside the snow building. Young Jack Walker was a first semester freshman. Innocent yet inexplicably bold. This young man made many big changes during his very first semester. Changes such as new classes, new roommates, and in particular a new glimpse of reality. A reality where tales of expectation are shattered. One-way revelations are halted at an indefinite stop sign. And inconceivable notions about what might have been dashed aside. Tonight, young Jack Walker will enter the friend zone. A journey into a wondrous land whose boundaries are that of imagination. That's the signpost up ahead. Your next stop, the Twilight Zone. Hey man, how was theater class today? It was all right. Oh, jeez. Dude, my wrist has been bothering me like all day. I think I did something to it last night. Oh, that happens to me all the time. Is it swollen at all? No, I didn't notice it. Oh my gosh! What is it? Dude, my hand is gone! Oh what do you mean it's gone? I said I don't have a hand! What do you think it means? Well, how should I know? Okay, what did you do today? Uh, uh, give me a list. Um, okay, well... I went on my usual routine, I went to my religion class today, and I saw this really pretty girl that I didn't remember seeing there before, and then I saw her again walking out of my acting class in the, in the grotto, and then I went to the bookstore to see if I could haggle for some textbooks, but then I found out that doesn't work there! What was this girl's name? Lauren! I should have known. Wait, what? Oh, I will! I knew there was a reason why I bought this! Lauren is one of the sirens from the Greek tragedy, The Odyssey. What? Lauren isn't a common Greek name? This is the 2017 version! Who revises an ancient Greek story? Even so, what does that have to do with my- <laughs> The siren had magical abilities to lure people to it using its magical song. Now tell me. Did she say to you? No! We just bumped into each other! Okay. Then it must be like the Back to the Future theory. What's it? Uh... Like when you bumped into her, you must have messed something up. And now you don't exist. Just like when Marty, like, romanced his mom. But, but that would mean she is my mom. Huh. Yeah, I got nothing. So now what do we do? Well, maybe something did happen that we're missing. Did, did she say anything to you? Well, we did have a conversation and I sort of did ask her out, but she said no. Wait, how did she say no? Well, she said she barely knew me, but said I seem more like a good friend. <gasps> what? Jack. Uh, Jack. I don't know how to tell you this, but I think you're entering me. The friend zone. What is the friend zone? It is a terrible place. Few men, if any, ever make it out alive. What are you talking about? Jack. Stop grabbing that. Jack, whenever a woman doesn't want to even think about dating you, they put you in the friend zone so that that way it's like you don't even exist. Well, that's awful. How do I stop this? I don't know, Jack. But it doesn't look good. Of course it doesn't look good! I'm- No! No! Jack didn't lie! What are you doing? Get out! Oh, so 
consider, if you will, the importance of a matter of words. A matter of words may lead you to great successes in life. Fame, fortune, fortitude, and fantasy all lie within your grasp. But like our little friend Jack here, a matter of words may lead you to a fake, failure, frenzied, and forgetful place, all of which lie in the friend zone.